Hey, welcome to the Grand Gallery. Um, I'm really excited today to talk about the work of Stephen Bauman. Stephen, um, I've known Stephen since his early 20s when he was a student at the Florence Academy of Art. He spent a good 10 years studying and teaching in Europe, and he hasn't really um, been in the gallery scene until the last 18 months, and we're really pleased. This is a two-person show, but Stephen's work really stands out to us. He's got a very cinematic sense, um, and he's threading the needle of what I've been looking for in figurative art uh, today, which is a, a very fine hand that's inspired by nature, but creates something a little, je ne sais quoi, a little bit more today. And he has been able to create a very modern sense of the um, contemporary figure. Uh, and one of the ways he does that is he, he has a, a very um, amazing figure, but on a somewhat of a kind of almost in this case, this is called On the Beach. It's like a film noir sensibility. He's controlling color and light to create a sense of mood and atmosphere, but he's also um, very much capturing the, uh, the, the sense of that young millennial. Um, I love this painting, I'll see the little dash of red. Um, one of the things that's really important about Stephen Bauman's work is um, his love of draw drawing. And we have put drawings up in our show, which we rarely do, because they really are a, an important part of his body of work. Um, this you can see, uh, you, you, I see a, a heavy influence from um, Pietro Anagoni, who would also have this, he was the most famous 20th century uh, Italian realist. And he was able to paint, uh, to draw the figure perfectly, but he was quite happy to abstract the background in the hair. And we see that here. This is a model that's inspired the major work in the show, which is called um, New Town. And this is part of the ongoing series, I believe, of Stephen Baum and um, has very fresh eyes coming back to America after being away in Europe for 10 years. Um, this also has connotations of the Me Too movement. It's a, a, a contemporary, very beautiful young woman, but she's in a very powerful um, kind of position. She's holding her coat, she's looking us right in the eye. Um, she is heroic in proportion to New York, which is behind her. And we also see a halo, uh, she's sanctified. Um, it's a very iconic image, and it's a very now image, and I, I just think it's a great painting. She's very realistic, but there's a lot of lost edges, there's a lot of mood, um, and he's creating that through value and color, um, manipulation of value and color, instead of just copying what he sees in nature. And this is what I'm looking for right now in uh, the Grand Gallery and in um, as we move forward. I really want to see 21st century images, and that is exactly what we're looking at here. Um, it's very memorable and very now. So um, one of the things that we're, we've also been doing a lot of with um, Stephen, because he's so accurate with these portraits, is he's been doing a lot of portrait commissions. Um, he also, he's painted um, everyone that's worked in the gallery, including me, <laughs> and you'll see some, uh, some of our, uh, our portrait heads. But those are really just quick studies that he's doing in two and a half hours. Given the proper amount of time, he's been delivering very successful portrait heads. One other way that he's modernized things is he's working in a square format, which isn't um, at all traditional. It isn't 19th century, it's very 21st century. Um, and uh, he's also got a little bit of a Holbein-esque kind of thing where he puts a teal background or a colored background and then gets the, the, the fig features of the person and the, the feeling of that person, but you have a little bit more of a modern kind of sense when, when he's finished. So um, come see his work. I, he has 100,000 followers on Instagram. I hope some more of you come in. We've seen a lot of you, but um, that's kind of what's going on in the graveyard today.